For this next step, this is what you're gonna need. You're going to need a zipper foot for your sewing machine. Um, every machine is different. You're, if you, this is a Bernina. If you're sewing on a different kind of sewing machine, your zipper foot is gonna look completely different. Um, but this is my zipper foot for my Bernina. Um, I sew on the 770. You're gonna need some long straight pins. You're gonna need your zipper and your pieces. And I've got the foam fused to the back of my lining pieces. So we're gonna start with the right side of the outside of the bag, the side that you want facing. So most people like, when they, when they put their zippers on, they like them to zip from left to right. So that's why I'm starting with this piece and I am just going to pin the zipper in place. I'm pinning the right side of the zipper that's the right side, to the right side of the fabric. So right side zipper, right side fabric. And this zipper is pretty wide. Um, I will link up where I get my zippers. Um, so my seam allowance is going to be a very generous quarter of an inch. Um, if your zipper is not as wide, then your seam allowance will be smaller. Um, you just wanna make sure when you're done, the seam allowance, the really the only thing that matters with seam allowance is that you can zip and unzip your zipper. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your fused pieces. I like to do this all in one step. Um, if you're brand new, you can go ahead and baste this and then do this step, but I, I feel like you guys could handle doing it all at once. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna line it up. You're gonna the right side of the fabric on the wrong side of the zipper. I usually like to just leave my existing pins in but if you want, um, you can go ahead and just move the pins too. It's up to you. And just make sure as you pin, you're catching all your layers. Make sure nothing's folded down. Okay, it's pinned. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this right along the top edge using my zipper foot. Um, one thing, this has got a pretty big zipper pull on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, now that this is pinned and I know where it needs to go, I'm just gonna go ahead and move this down a little bit. I'm gonna start sewing. When I get to this point, I'm gonna lift my presser foot. I'm gonna put my needle down, lift my presser foot, and then I'm gonna move the zipper to the part I already stitched so that it stays out of the way the whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace my foot on my sewing machine. And put my zipper foot on. I'm gonna change my stitch length down to a two and 2.5, 2.6. I'm gonna move my needle to the left four clicks. It's gonna be different on your sewing machine. Um, you can practice on a scrap fabric or if you're really worried about it, just go ahead and um, baste it in place the first time so it won't be as hard to unstitch if it's not like you want. Go ahead and stitch it down. Okay, now I'm to the spot, I really should move my pincushion. I'm to the spot where that zipper is, so I'm, like I said, I'm lifting my presser foot and I'm moving that zipper pull out of the way into the part I already sewed. You're just going to take a gander at it, see how it looks, make sure that seam allowance is how you like. I'm going to take the other outside piece and you're going to pin it to the right side of the other half of the zipper. Um, when you do this, just take a second, make sure your sides are lined up. Pinned. Now what you're going to do is take the other lining piece, flip it over, and pin it so it's right sides facing the other lining and the right side of this fabric is facing the wrong side of the zipper.
gonna go over to my iron with steam in it, and I'm going to press this seam down very, very well. That seam is now pressed very well. With this foam, you've really gotta use a lot of steam to get it to go where you want it to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now and top stitch down both sides of my zipper. Um, that way it will keep the fabric out of the way of zipper as I use it and also gives it a nice finished look. I'm still using the zipper foot on my sewing machine for this step. Okay, it's stitched down. Just gonna do a quick test, make sure it zips and unzips, which it does. And we are ready to move on to assembling the case. For this step, you're going to, once again, need some long straight pins and your sharp scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my sewing machine foot back to my standard foot, that's not standard foot, to the standard foot, which on the Bernina is the 1D foot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my needle position back to center. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make like a, like a butterfly kind of a thing here. You're gonna unzip the zipper. Don't forget this part. Unzip the zipper. And you're going to pin this. You're gonna pin it so that, see how my zipper teeth are facing up? You're gonna keep the zipper teeth facing up like this. And you're just gonna go ahead and pin this over the top and just like that. And I'm going to keep pinning all the way around the perimeter of the case. So I'm gonna start sewing at the one spot. And like I said, use a quarter inch seam allowance and sew all the way around the perimeter of the bag, making sure that I pivot at the curves and the corners. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sharp scissors and I am going to clip little V's into the seam allowance. What this will do is it will help me have a really nice curved edge when this is turned right side out. I've stitched all the way around the perimeter of the bag. I've left an opening in one of the bottom curves I have come in with my small sharp scissors and clipped the seams and the curves and then I trimmed some of the excess foam off of the lining. What you're going to do next is you are going to, as carefully as you can, <laughs> turn this bad boy right side out. 